right. The moment is here. Everybody's been waiting for this. I didn't think it was going to happen. But we dissected the Kendrick verse. We dissected the Cole track. And I was saying, Drake, don't do it. Don't get involved. Y'all saw if you if you watched my reactions to those disses, I was like, don't do it, Drake. But here we are. You guys have been sending me this, telling me to check it out. And I didn't think it was real, but you guys reassured me that this is real. And this is a leak, apparently, of Drop and Give Me 50, a diss track by Drake. So apparently Drake's getting involved. <laughs> I'm excited about it though. And I'm recording this right now before I go spend some time with my family. Going to be doing some things for a few days, getting some stuff done. So I don't know when this is going to be uploaded and edited and all that. But it might be out sometime later this week. I don't even know if anybody's going to watch this by then. I might just be sitting here talking to myself. But if one person watches it, thank you. I appreciate you. Now, we're about to hop right in here, and we're going to dissect this. We're going to break it down. We're going to see what Drake is talking about. This is Drop and Give Me 50, a leak uh, by Drake. clowning on this man for his height now he tell him he got some little ass feet he said peggy hill got bigger feet than you how you big stepping with a size seven man on because <laughs> mr morale and the big steppers but he got some little boy feet look look i was not expecting drake to come out with anything but it sounds like he's ready to come with it and it sounds pretty good so let's break it down let's go drake all right I even like that sigh right there, like, <sighs> Cole, you were supposed to defend both of us. Now you want to apologize, and now I got to come out with something. <sighs> Cole, I went back to work out for me, work out for me. And now Cole back there working out, and Drake, Drake like, all right, all right, I guess I'll handle it. I I'll defend both of us then. Something nobody expected, but hey, here we are. Let's go, Drake. first number one i had to put that in your hand you wouldn't have a number one if it wasn't for me i'm the hit maker you depend on you can't even get booked outside the u.s <laughs> talk your shit drake he said i'm worldwide where are you at you still doing local shows damn let's go drake Pussies can't get booked outside America for nan. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Tough on record in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven men's on? Mm, mm, come on, you ain't taking no chain. Remember, Kendry said he's snatching everybody's chains. Drake, like, tough talk on a record, but when we in person, you don't keep that same energy. So you ain't taking nobody's chain. Quit playing. Quit playing. Pand on. Tough on record in my city. It was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven men zone? Just a bark with the bike, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for real. You been shook up. The top so you. I know you got my picture on the wall. <laughs> you got my picture on the wall when you cook up. So you got me. Posted all over your wall, whether it be for inspiration to make a hit record or you looking for inspiration to come come with a diss track. You looking to take some shots at me. So they might have his picture up there for target practice. They just sitting there throwing darts at it. That's wild. They taking shots now. Keeps cutting out right there. I, I, it's a leak, so I'm guessing that's why the audio's messed up. But all right, woo, fuck it. 
picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for real, you been shook up. This top so you drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. Huh, your last one, brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Put your con <laughs> Yo, last one, brick. Your last album. That was a brick, boy. You didn't even score with <laughs> Remember what Cole said? Yo, last shit was tragic. Now, Drake doubling down. Brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. Hey, the way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop it, give them 50. Oh, nah. <laughs> Now I see. Now I know why it's called drop and give me fifty. All right, <laughs> Drake's out here pocket watching. Kendrick, he sees you. He sees you out here pocket watching your ass. <laughs> the record label, Top Dog Entertainment (TDE) is taking fifty percent of Kendrick's whatever he makes. He, they take fifty percent of it, and guess what? They telling him what to do, where to do it, when to do it. You better do that show inside the bitty. And for those of y'all that don't know gang terminology, so whenever you talk about a gang-affiliated city, if it's blood-affiliated, then they take the C out of city and replace it with a B because they see the C as being crip-affiliated. So the bitty shows that the city is blood gang-affiliated where Kendrick might not want to perform, but guess who told him he had to do it? Top dog said, get your ass out there and do the show. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Put your contract because we got to see the split. Hey, the way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. <laughs> yeah, nah. nah, Maroon 5 needs a verse. And you got to make a verse for the Swifties too. And who did Kendrick do songs with? He did songs with Maroon 5 and Taylor Swift before. And did Future do songs with them too, though? So that he he's he's firing shots at both of them right there. Damn. They say have those verses ready by the morning, Kendrick. Thank you. And we're taking fifty percent. I want to see the split right now. <laughs> but don't let Drake fool you, though. Don't let Drake fool you. He ain't slick because he is a Taylor Swift supporter. Now we know he's cool with Taylor Swift because he did that commercial before. Remember, he was singing that Taylor Swift song. I think it was like Bad Blood or something. Don't let Drake fool you. Do that motherfucker show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse. Basically, what Drake is getting at is people try to say that he's not a real rapper, he's a singer, and he just be doing pop stuff. But Drake is refuting that and saying, look, you out here acting like I don't rap. I just I just make songs with singing and everything. And look at you. Look at you. You doing songs with the same people. You a pop star now. <laughs> First for the Swifties, top say dry, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you white down, Travis got you white down, Savage got you white down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the oh. top of the... Now, 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 we've heard the, the aftermath, the inner scope the shady record labels we've heard those used in songs before a million different ways even mgk did it on that rap devil disc got you in the scope right now gunner yeah but it does fit and it works and it sounds good it does please the ear but he's naming people that wipe kendrick down he's saying i he talking about numbers though because there ain't no way travis scott ain't them washing kendrick it Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you white down, Travis got you white down, Savage got you white down. Like you mm. Okay, okay, so he talking about doing numbers here because Scissor got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage. All of them did bigger numbers than Kendrick. How the hell you in the big three? You got to get your numbers up first before you think you're in the big three. Ooh, he's sunning him now with the numbers. Ah, he said... Get, get your numbers up first before you even try to talk to me. He called him Pipsqueak. <laughs> I haven't heard somebody use that in forever. <laughs> Scissor got you white down. Travis got you white down. Savage got you white down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Ah! Big difference between Mike and oh! Mike now. <laughs> He said what? Oh, now that 
I'm at the top of the mountain. You got a problem with me? Well, just to have this talk with you, I had to hike my ass down because you hike up and down a mountain. We get that. But that's also a height joke because he's saying he's up here, Kendrick down here, another short joke. <laughs> but just to have this talk, I got to come down here and hike down and talk to your ass. So think of it like when somebody is running their mouth about you and you, you be letting them slide. You're like, all right. All right, but then then you got to stoop to their level because they're really not getting it. They're really not getting it. So you're like, all right, I'll stoop down to your level and I'll meet you in the middle. So what's up? I'll, it's another it's another thing coming down the mountain. I'm stooping down to your level. But he's also talking about doing numbers too because he's at the top and Kendrick is not number-wise. That's a quad, boy. <laughs> Drake with a quadruple. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? Mm. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Oh. Get more love oh. in the city. <laughs> I'm about to walk out of here. I'm about to walk out. He could, he could just. That's it. Just cut the beat off right there. It's over. Cut the verse. That's all he had to say. Come on. What? What is? What is a prince to a king? Literally a son. <laughs> like the son of the king is the prince. But he's also talking about the king of pop, Michael Jackson, and Prince. Who? Kendrick said he is the new prince. He's prince now, right? Come on. And yo, even listen, we got the king of pop, Michael Jackson. He has a son named Prince. That's a triple! Drake coming with the quadruple and a triple back to back. And then back to back. I didn't even I didn't even try that. But <laughs> come on, yo, Drake got me fucked up, bro. What is this? A 20 v one? Come on. Big down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20 v one, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. I get more love in Oh, come on. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. So that even leads into the Michael Jackson King thing. But to set up that scheme, it's not just Mike Jackson. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. He's talking about his mic. He's talking about that mic. Because back then, he was friends with everybody. We all out here making hit records. We all getting number ones. And now look at it. It's a 20 v 1. So back then, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I would have let you slide. Big difference between me at that point in time and who I am now. Now I'll get on the mic and I'll tear your ass up. Which I, I don't think anybody was expected, but here we are. <laughs> v1, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. I get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the <laughs> no. sixth guy. I'm the front. I knew Metro was going to get it at some point. I knew it. He said, shut your ass up, Metro, and go make some drums. And what's Metro going to do? What's he going to make a harder beat? Come on now. He can't even respond. <laughs> I get more love in the city where you come from. Now, I don't know if that's true. It might be, though, because think about Kendrick coming from Compton. Drake did shoot a video with the game out in Compton. I don't, I don't know. Drake is worldwide. Hey. Hey, that's up for a debate. Y'all let me know. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. I get more love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm a six guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manage your chugs, little blunt runner. Clean the six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Should we do for bitches? He doing for... Ooh, Cash and Abel. Abel is the weekend's real name. And then Cash is his manager. Hold up, we talking about the weekend now. Hold up, hold up. And they do have that Canadian record label, right? So that's why he said the six guy. Oh, hold up, let's break this down. Love in the city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm a six guy, I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga manage your chugs, little blunt runner. Clean the six, and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys mm. got your manager, the weekend's manager, Cash. Cash XO, he was Chubbs' little blunt runner, and Chubbs is Drake's security. But he's saying the weekend's manager was his blunt runner. He was just his errand boy. Mm, talking down to him again. 
he son and everybody no he literally did son kendrick though hold up because he talked about the prince and the king he let now nah, he literally son <laughs> yeah this shit goes crazy little blunt runner playing the six and you boys ain't even come from it and when you boys got rich you had to run from it cash blowing able bread out here tricking should we do for bitches he doing for niggas just wish chains wicked wicked hold up so yeah he's he's calling them out for having that canadian record label but they ain't really even from canada but they claim they from the six and then as soon as they get a little money skip town but right here right here he said cash is blowing abel's bread so his manager cash xo is blowing the weekend's money out here tricking you think about tricking hoes and bitches and all that but he's saying the shit that they do for women he's doing for men take that as you will and when you boys got rich you had to run from it cash blowing able bread out here tricking should we do for bitches he doing for niggas just switch chains wicked 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 spinning like you trying to fuck boy you tripping wicked 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 is a future track he throwing shots at future again okay he taking everybody he don't give a fuck 20 v1 damn i'll roll up by my fucking self what's up it's because Cole ain't out here no more. Cold world, real cold world. Just switch chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got on done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I was turned. That was. <laughs> Come on. The chipping nail. Drizzy chipping Dale, don't make me have to chip a nail. I just got my nails done because. Drake is known for getting his nails done. He gets those mani petties and people clown on him because he gets his nails done. Don't make me have to chip a nail now out here getting in a cat fight. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Drizzy Chippendale, I might have to buy your bitch Chanel. I probably did buy your bitch Chanel. Yo, Drake be stealing everybody's girl, though. Everybody. Nobody's off limits. Nobody's safe. Drake be stealing all the bitches. He said, I don't, I don't give a damn. I steal your mama, your grandmama, your ex-wife, your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your baby mama, your sister. I don't care. Drake, Drake taking everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's wild. Drizzy Chippendale. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping. Drizzy Chippendale probably got your bitch in there. I just got on done, boy, don't make me at the Chippendale. Mm, there's even more to that, though, because Drizzy Chippendale. So Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I don't know if y'all ever saw that show, but Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and then Drake saying, I probably got your bitch Chanel. If you ain't gonna buy it for her, Drake will. <laughs> Yo, he, he's acting like he's Captain save -a And then Chippendale, obviously, the strippers, because the ladies want to see Drake strip. I mean, eh. Apparently, if he's taking everybody's girl. Busy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got on done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I was turned, that was slick as hell. Lucky that your dog, little Ben, doesn't kiss and tell. Husband kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches, I be rocking every. Lucky that your, your BM doesn't kiss and tell. Your baby mama doesn't kiss and tell. Whose baby mama is he talking about? He done stole everybody's baby mama. Whose baby mama, though? Because Future's baby mama is Sierra, but now she with Russell Wilson. Yo, Sierra does have a track named Kiss and Tell, though. Hold up. Now, I used to listen to Sierra back in the day occasionally. So, yeah, she got that Kiss and Tell track. Hold up. Nah, see, Drake think he's slick. Well, yo. Don't make me at the chip and nail. Rolling loud stage. I was turned. That was slick as hell. Lucky that your doll, little Ben, doesn't kiss and tell. Husband kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. I be with some bodyguards. Nah, he's really about that tough talk now, ain't he? Who expected this from Drake out here got his nails painted? He said, don't let the nail polish fool you, homie. Ah, Drake acting like he about it for real. The switches, the hugs and kisses. So hugs and kisses like XO. And who's the weekend's... Oh, the label. Come on, XO. Hugs and kisses. Not, uh, the weekend says it stands for ecstasy or something. But Drake's like, nah, it's hugs and kisses because you soft. And guess who else is soft? You want to talk about switches, Kendrick? Remember Kendrick said in the diss track about the three switches? Drake said, nah, you, I'll rock every chain I own. You ain't taking nothing. Soft. I don't switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, try your little midget ass. Better fucking, hey, better drop and give me 50. Hey, Wait, hold up. Run that back. Fucking chain our own next visit. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, try your little midget ass. Better fucking. I'll 
I'll be wishing bodyguards like Whitney. Like Whitney? Like Whitney Houston? Whitney Houston does have a movie, though, called Bodyguard. That was in the early 90s for all you movie buffs out there. You know we watch a lot of movies around here. So Whitney Houston with the Bodyguard movie. But if I'm not mistaken, you can, can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure Kendrick's wife isn't her name Whitney. I might be misremembering that, but I think her name is Whitney. If it is, the boy is coming with the layers in this track. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass. Better fucking. Hey, better drop and give me 50. Hey, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Oh, I'm got me out here talking like I'm 50, like 50 Cent. But he called him a midget again, too. <laughs> The short jokes stay coming. Even Cole was doing the short joke, like the reach and all that. But my man talk about 50 Cent. 50 Cent is clowning everybody on Instagram. If you guys ain't following him, go check out. It's funny as hell. You got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Trizzy. Worry about whatever going on with you and Hey, shout out to the Hooper. He talking about Rick Ross? Boy, throwing them shots at Rick Ross. He said, I don't know why he jumping in. He turning 50. I might have to cuff your next girl like I'm Ricky. Because Rick Ross... Used to be a security guard and he would cuff people, but he's then Drake try to steal his girl. To, man, Drake be stealing everybody's girl. Like this is crazy. This is just a humble brag. He be stealing everybody's women. Charlie got from Jersey. Worry about whatever going on with you and hey, shout out to the Hooper that be And then he even told him, You wouldn't have a single hit on the chart if it wasn't for me. Damn, just son Rick Ross too. He said, you turning 50. What you doing out here talking trash? The only person that can get away and nobody bats an eye when they drop a diss track on someone is Eminem. If they're over 50, nobody bats it. Eminem is over 50. He's still talking shit about people, but he's been doing it for 30 years. Nobody cares. <laughs> From Trizzy, worry about whatever going on with you and hey, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. I know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. This for all the time. The Hooper that be busting out the gritty. Now that's Ja Morant. Cause in the NFL, you got Justin Jefferson. He be doing the gritty too. But Ja Morant, Drake stole his girl too. Come on, he took his ex girlfriend, right? I saw something about that on Twitter before. Got John Moran. He said, All right, shout out to the Hooper to be busting out the gritty. I already know why you man. I ain't even tripping. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He just talking about smashing everybody's girl throughout this whole track. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Hide your wife. Hide, your, hide everybody in your family. Anybody you know. <laughs> Hide all the females because Drake is taking them all. <laughs> Nobody's safe. <laughs> you got John Morant out here trying to protect the backboard, and Drake is out here giving his ex back shots. Come on. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song y'all got is not starting beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga caught a top, Woo! see a top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now nah, you on your own when you speaking up. You done roll deep to this, it's not fucking easing up. <laughs> hey. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. He said, I ain't backing down for shit that we ain't. Nah, nah, nah. There ain't no apologies over here. Not on this side. I don't care what Cole said. He called out Cole, too. He said, Cole, I don't give a damn what you say. That dot shit was weak as fuck. Come on. Now we ain't peace talking. Now we gotta run this back, yo. Top dogs dropping, give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song y'all got is not starting beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga caught a top to see a top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. Yeah, talk your shit, Drake. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. Oh my god, top one piece it up. So 
Kendrick and Cole came out with an apology to try to make the peace talk. Now, remember when I broke down that Cole track, he mentioned about the peace, like peace talk, but also he gonna break out the peace because he's ready to fire and return shots. However, what, less than 48 hours later or something, he was like, nah, 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 it's like I was just playing. I was just playing. Let's, let's work this out, you know? <laughs> So he was making peace talk with Kendrick at the Dreamville Fest. Drake said, there is no peace talk because now Kendrick might regret this and go to top as in TDE, Top Dog Entertainment, and be like, hey, want to piece it up? Can we piece this up? Can we make amends? It was just a joke. It was a prank, bro. I was playing. It, Drake said, nope. I'm standing right here, 10 toes down. What's up? Wanna piece it up, talk, wanna piece it up Nah, pussy, now nah, you on your own, where you speaking up? You done rolled deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough Begging cops or not, where you not fucking beating us Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up Oh, Money oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up You done roll deep, but it wasn't deep enough 20v1, you should have brought a whole army, son Cause now you the one who's in deep You in some deep shit And then begging Kai Sinat, so Kai Sinat, the streamer? And, and you know we stream over on Twitch, but the streamer, there has been some rappers going on there promoting their next album. So he's saying that Kendrick is gonna be trying to do that, or has already tried to do that. Yo, yo, to get his numbers up, because <laughs> Nicki Minaj was on there, Twenty One Savage was on there. They all trying to promote their album to the youngins, all the young bucks watching. Oh my goodness, bro. Drake watching everything. He just knows. Not where you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you <laughs> niggas work it out because I've seen enough. This yo, yo, your show money is only our merch money. He just sunned him again. <laughs> Come on, pocket watching, bro. Come on. Because typically when you're at a concert, the show money is the top thing that you make that's your top revenue and then the merch money is secondary to that well drake's saying whatever you're getting paid for your show we make that only in merch come on come on he's saying you can't keep up numbers wise i'm out here i'm doing big things big things popping these little things stopping you know another short joke anyway your show money merch money feed us i'm gonna let you niggas work it out because i've seen enough this ain't even everything i know don't wake the demon up this ain't even everything i know don't wake the demon up drop and give me 50 all you fuck niggas teaming up what what's he mean this ain't everything he know nah he he seemed like he knows everything bro what what does he know <laughs> hold up i bet he's he's probably got some connection he got people on the inside he knows everything Teaming up, drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. What? What? Teaming up with all of y'all, falling like some dominoes. Bros turning hoes, dog, like I ain't got enough of those. I can't wait to see how far you niggas get to reaching now. This the closest thing you niggas getting to a feature now. Back to oh. the game, cause a few of y'all been reaching out. Y'all drew the line, what the fuck we gotta speak about? He get still going? Head tap. Bro, how's he still going? <laughs> I'm about to leave. Come on, boy. Yo, you got me in here sweating, dog. This is too much heat. This, yo, I don't care what anybody says. If so, if people are saying that this was not it and this was not hard, they lying to themselves and they lying to you. Bro, he is still going. He is just continuing to flame him. He could have let the beat ride and he would be done. That's it. Kendrick needs to respond with a whole track, not a verse. Reaching now, this the closest thing you niggas getting to a feature now. Backpedal gang, cause a few of y'all been reaching out. Y'all drew the line. There is no backpedaling. Don't be don't be calling me up. We ain't got nothing to speak about. Come on, this is the closest you're getting to a feature now. You ain't even gonna have your name attached to the title tracks anymore. Only way you get mentioned is if I'm saying your name and I'm flaming you. Niggas getting to a feature now. Backpedal gang, cause a few of y'all been reaching out. Y'all drew the line, what the fuck we gotta speak about? Get your fucking head tap, you niggas get to peeking out. You had a song for four years, drop that shit or shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, nigga. It's me twice in my big three, I had to leave you out. Fucking dumbass, nigga. Whoa! <laughs> Bro. I gotta cool them down, bro. 
Oh, I need to put some ice on my head because he just flamed him, bro. I'm sweating. Oh, my God. That's me in the top three twice. I had to leave you out. So he's saying, Cole, you still got a spot there. But... <laughs> Fuck bitches, get money. You heard that sample in the back? Oh my god. Hold up, hold up, my goodness. Years drop that shit have shut your mouth. Fuck a head tap, you niggas get to peeking out. You had a song for four years, drop that shit have shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, nigga. It's me twice in my big three, I had to leave you out. Fucking dumbass, nigga. You had that track. You had that, you had that already. Now, there was people saying, like, four years ago or something that, that uh, Kendrick has had a diss track. Armed and ready to go. Drake said, drop it. Let's fucking go. What the fuck? And if anybody peeks their head out, if y'all play, like, any kind of shooters or anything, you play, like, Call of Duty or something, Battlefield, if you peek your head out, ping! Damn, he's taking your cap off! Oh, my God. I need to get some ice on my head. That's what's in. I did not expect this from Drake, but I am happy we got it. This is the Drake I want. This is the Drake I like. We need more people to diss Drake. I don't care. Everybody diss Drake right now. This is the Drake I like. You know, he, he be out here singing and shit, and that's all right. But this is the Drake I like right here. We need more of this. Come on. Oh, I was not expecting this, dude. I now I know why so many people were sending me this. It was I was just getting messages. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I'm like, this ain't real. This is real. <sighs> this it got real real quick. Now nah, this was unexpected, man. I holy. <laughs> I can't believe this just how does Drake have the best diss track of 2024? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Drake with the best diss track of 2024. This was fire. Man, listen. I got to get up out of here. I do have a TV show review coming on the way for the anime live adaptation of Parasite. So keep it locked for that. We got donation requests that I got coming out. I'm going to be fulfilling all those. But either way, I appreciate you guys being here. I got to get the hell up out of here because <laughs> this just drove me nuts. But <laughs> I got I got things to do. So I got to get up out of here and go find some ice pack for my head. <laughs> Y'all be easy. Never greasy. It's your boy Snake Venom S to the V. We out.